We're joined by Kim Anderson, our crop marketing specialist. Kim, harvest winding down. Most of that wheat is in the bin for 2016. What's on the minds of producers? What should they be thinking about now? I imagine most of them are thinking about the price, uh, the price level. Then they're thinking about uh, how price is going to change between now and say December 1 or January 1 as we get out into the 17 crop year. And then uh, I imagine uh, if they've been into the elevators and talked about uh, what they deliver is the discounts that the elevator are applying to non-wheat substances. Let's talk about price and outlook and kind of break that down a little bit for us. Well, the concern about prices is that they're relatively low. Uh, you, you look over the, since 2008 in, in June, we've averaged right at $6 a bushel. Uh, we're well below $5 uh, a bushel, uh, below cost of production for many producers. And so the prices have cons of some concern. They look at the uh, prices, the, the uh, KC uh, uh, wheat contracts, you can see that uh, those contracts of uh, the December contract is 40 cents uh, around there higher than the July contract kind of promises a 40 cent price increase but if you look back over the the last few contracts that's went off the board those contracts have came down rather than the what we call the nearby contract going up so they've lost that carry so there's some concern there but they're they're concerned about what prices are going to be and then of course you've got the uh, the dockage discount the test weight discount and the foreign material discount that they're looking at and explain for us a little further how those discounts impact then the end price. Well, the discounts are, are pretty heavy this uh, year. You can look at test weight. Now, test weight is it's probably normal. It hadn't changed much over time. If they, you go from number one wheat to number two, uh, going below 60 pounds, you get a half a cent. Uh, you get another penny at below 59. When you go from a, a number two wheat to a number three, that's get below 58 pound test weight. It's uh, two cents. If you get down to going from two to three at 56, Six pound test you get below that then you got a 10 cent discount and of course you, you the next one down to number four is a 21 cent so it gets pretty heavy if you get down there but our test weights were relatively good this year you look at all dockage uh, above one percent it's five uh, five cents above 1.3 it's seven cents above 1.6 nine cents above two 12 cents and above two and a half or 2.6 14 cents and it goes on up from there so dockage discounts are pretty heavy the big discount, in my opinion, is foreign material. That's our, our rye and other non-wheat uh, material that's about the same size and weight as the wheat. You get over 1%, you've got a $0.12 cent discount already. You get over 2%, 2%, 24 cent discount. Over three, you're at $0.50 cent discount. And, you know, you can go on down there uh, over five seventy seventy cent discount. So those foreign material discounts are, they're pretty heavy. And then what can produce do about discounts because nobody wants money taken off. Well, I think this is the time to start planning because as you're planting the 17 crop, look at which fields had the dockage, look at which fields had that foreign material, that rye, and then find out what you can do to alleviate those problems because these discounts are not going to go away and in my opinion, over time, they're going to get worse. Okay. Kim Anderson, thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon.